Hello guys, welcome to the last faction overview for Total War Attila, the last Roman campaign. The final faction we haven't discussed yet is the Visigothic Kingdom. Like the Frankish Kingdom and the Vandella Kingdom, they are not playable in custom or multiplayer battles, just in the, the last Roman campaign. The Visigoths are just like the other barbarians, a powerful nation located in Iberia. The Visigoths settled astride the Pyrenees but are constantly at war with the aggressive Franks. The aim of the Visigoths is to recapture territory lost to the Franks, to consolidate Visigothic holdings in Hispania and to acquire lands in Africa. The Regnum Toletanum faction trait gives the Visigothic Kingdom various bonuses. They have a high rate of religious conversion and they do not suffer from public order penalties due to immigration in their provinces. Just like all the other major factions they are also able to reform the Western Roman Empire. The Visigoths start out on the east coast of Iberia, sharing the peninsula with the Suebi and the Basques. They control 80 regions in total, Barcino being the capital. Starting armies are also very numerous and powerful, 5 in total, including some pretty good units by the way. They also start out with Seward, who is a spy, so that's pretty handy. The Visigoths start a campaign with a challenging war to unite Iberia against the Suebians. The starting armies st uh, start out in good locations though, which makes them able to invade the enemy right away. The French in the north and the Berbers in the south are both aggressive and may declare war early in the campaign. Other factions are friendly however, and the Visigoths start out trading with three factions. This gives the Visigoths by far the best financial starting position in the game. They start out with an average 4k in the bank, however they gain more than 2k talents each turn, which is insane compared to other factions. This makes them able to create huge armies right away to defeat anyone who stands in their way. Their political situation is a bit weaker though, the family tree is small and there is a good amount of other nobles. Players need to pay attention that things doesn't get out of hand. Buildings and technologies are just like the other barbarian factions, a mix of Roman and barbarian ones which is a lot different than the Grand Campaign. To win the game the Visigothic Kingdom must get rid of the Roman expedition and expand towards Africa and Gaul. They do not have to invade Greece or Italy to win the game, which makes it a bit easier, you don't have to defeat the Romans. As said, the Visigothic Kingdom is not a playable faction in battles like the Ostrogothic Kingdom and the Roman Expedition. Like the Franks and Visigoths, they do the Visigoths, I mean like the Franks and the Vandals, they do not receive any new units in the last Roman campaign. The Visigothic roster is composed of a good mix of light melee infantry, pikes and good skirmishers, supported by decent cavalry. Good units are noble Gothic Lancers, Visigothic Slingers, Thracian Oatshorn and Gothic Pikemen. Overall, the Visigothic Kingdom is a fun faction to play in the Lost Roman Campaign and the best one for new or low skilled players. They are by far the easiest, easiest faction as they immediately start out with a great economy and a war they can easily win. The fact that they do not have access to any new units is disappointing though. I hope you enjoyed these faction overviews, click the screen right, right now if you want to see any of the other 4 factions. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time, bye bye.